Hello everyone, welcome to Level Revolt. I'm in PE. I'm headed to the launch of the new VW T Cross. I'm headed there now. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm such an awkward vlogger, but I'm gonna start learning and I'm really gonna start vlogging a little bit more. And I'm very excited to see how this video goes. So why are you saying that? Anyway guys, I'm off to I'm off. I wake up, flex, thumbs down that check. No drip this tell him run it up. Okay, so I'm in the Driver side seat of the new VW T Cross. I'm going to be taking you guys around the car while I talk to you. But I have the spec sheet here. This T Cross is specced at 365,000 Rand. For that, it has a removal tow bar. Or you can guys just freeze the frame over there. And then you can see all the, the little specifications. But this is a 1 liter. I see 85 kilo 2 newtons. It's got beat sound system. So we'll see what the beat sound system sounds like. But um, I like the design of this car. This is based on the Polo Sashi, basically. And it's jacked up and a lot of things are done. But I'm seeing actually quite a bit of things. I'm seeing uh, it's got the, the, the collision alert and all those type of things. I like the silver buttons here. The dashboard is really cool. It's got the um, digital display in front of it as well. The seating position is really cool. I'm set nice and high. Um, but let's talk about the outside. The design looks quite nice. I must say, this is probably going to be a hit. And at that price... I mean, it's super competitive. 365,000 and for all of this, what the beat sound system. I mean, wow. Hey guys, on our way to the bungee jumping, Mr. Jason from Technobuck is behind the camera. He also has a YouTube channel. I'll leave his. Uh, uh, YouTube channel in the shop description box below. But about the VWT Cross, quickly, um, it's a really, really nice car. Him and I actually took some photos quickly. You can probably see the photos popping up on the screen now. It was a, it's a really good car. This thing can go over pavements and stuff like it's nothing. Um, it also drives really easy, and you sit nice and high in the car. And at that price, I think it was three hundred sixty-five thousand, Jason. Yeah, three hundred sixty-five not bad at all like um this car's competing against the ford ford ecosport, ecosport uh, hyundai creta and it already feels much more premium no? incredibly premium very solid and mm. just great ride height a real practical yeah, around no, i fully agree with you and i mean with all these features here in front of us we got the obviously vw's infotainment system we have the digital display in front of us and i mean we're doing 120 and i think you can hear the wind noise is really minimal so not a really well put together car right this is just solid i find premium and as you said mm. uh the features in here apple carplay android auto yeah, the large really media touch screen yeah it's got it all but anyway off to our little bungee jumping fiasco and i'm a bit nervous but i'm just that's excited at the same time i'm pulling over my words even <laughs> you say i'm wrong Drivers, Jason will be taking over now. I'm tired of driving. <laughs> the wind, sorry for the wind. Wind is strong. Okay, put my tag over there. Let's put this over here. Uh, what we're gonna do is get the glasses off for the filming side. Yeah, right, Jason. I think you must give us a floor so we can see how quick it goes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> For one liter, it's pretty perky and the aircon zone. And that's 100. So obviously not the quickest thing in the world. This is built to be more of a... Um, how do one say? Family kind of crossover. Family young, car, young yeah. family car. But still quite impressive though. It's still yeah. quite uh, managing to put its power down, I think, quite nicely. Exactly, what's the fuel consumption? And the fuel consumption. And why are you doing zip lining? I thought you're joining me with bungee jumping. Yeah, hey, that, was, that was my plan, but I'm a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't like heights, um, but I'm gonna try the bungee jumping. I'm always on the I want to do the skydiving actually. If any one of you want to sponsor me with skydiving, please let me know. I'd love to do skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> there is no space for this broken body. There is no area from my thoughts. Oh, 
I'm actually quite yeah. late. <laughs> and when we got a phone call now, where are you guys? We're supposed to be up on the <laughs> So um, now we have to go straight to Bungee Jumping. We can't stop off at, um, at the zip lining. So we're both doing zip bungee jumping now. We're both bungee jumping. Are we still sticking to the legal limit? I think I got something blocking this yeah. corner, but as far as I know, it's the legal limit. Yeah. So let's just, let's just get there before we get kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, bungee jumping, we literally like rushed here, got here now, but everything seems okay. I must get on the scale here, apparently. I wonder how much you weigh. Hello, you? ladies. Hi. How much do I weigh? I'm um, 67. Yo. Whoa! Niaz. Niaz, ne? Niaz is 67. Jumping. Yeah, how do you I'm almost like a cow. <laughs> they, I'm like a cow. They're mocking me. <laughs> guys, that's ignition <laughs> over there. Thank you. You guys can go straight to the harness area for me. Okay, thank you. But dude, can we discuss your weight? <laughs> <laughs> you weigh 67. <laughs> Stop laughing. I'm a handsome guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, I guess the handsomeness took all the way to it. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip, this wet. Tell him run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first, die stretch. Tell him run it off. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip, this wet. Tell him run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first, die stretch. Tell him run it off. Now that the tan rub through my hands, I'm by my lonely. <laughs> Amazing experience. Hit us back to the lunch now. Um, thank you. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna head back now. We're gonna go for lunch now. Finally. Finally. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the view. Because apparently, while you're walking here, it's quite pretty. I don't want my phone to fall. Oh, it's very far down. Yo, finally, finally, finally. Yo. Gentlemen, sorry. Okay, so we just arrived at our arrived arrived at our lunch spot. Um, locking this car. Ah, here we go. Now we're gonna head to the lunch spot, which is over there. It's called Enrico. It's an Italian restaurant. The worst part about being like Muslim on these launches is that I can't eat everything, so like I have to, they have to specially prepare me stuff, and it's just all like a whole um, shenanigan. But ah, man, so is life. I'm actually quite cold. Uh, I just want to wash my face and wash my hands because everything feels dirty now from the jump. Even when I was touching me and stuff when I had to obviously strap me up and whatnot. So yeah, this guy's going to eat. This view is sensational. <laughs> I ordered prawns and I went for um, a tonic but obviously non alcoholic and no sugar and no dairy. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm so hungry. I'm so, so freaking hungry. <laughs> So that lady over there is VW South Africa's PR. 
Tsianga Madiki Zela, and this lady here is a woman who specs all the cars that comes to South Africa. So all the cars that you see or that you see at Volkswagen, she basically did the, the, the spec sheets for that cars. So yeah, pretty easy. Can't help myself. You know too well. to the hotel room and it's time for me to take a bit of a shower but this place is so pretty like like really pretty oh no what is this i've literally been fighting for like 20 minutes to find a decent channel here and all i can find is soccer so time to take a splash show you guys this place look how nice this place looks it's like this huge shower thing i don't know what's in here it's a big mirror oh it's just a but anyway, let me go shower. I am fresh out of the shower. Do you think I look... Where's the light here? Yeah, there we go. Do I look yay or nay? Vote in the comments. Vote in the, <laughs> the top right hand corner. Or do you think I need a serious makeover? You can vote that there on top. But off to the press. Press thing? Do I need to put this on again? This place is like really nice, eh? Really, really nice. What? <laughs> I was falling into the car. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm gonna quickly take you around the Volkswagen T Cross. And yeah, as you can see, I like this color. What's this color called again, Jason? Makina Turquoise. I'm going to show you guys the space at the back. This is in my seating position. There's a bottle of water there. And look at this. The seat is nice and high so I can get my feet underneath the seat in. These seats are really comfy. I've got two USB ports here at the back. 60-40 folding seats. This car is a little bit longer than the VW Polo and a little bit wider. I love these wheels. This is a Highline model so we have I'll show you now quickly we have the dual zone climate control and obviously this um, infotainment system and the digital display the beat sound system which is an option just i like these rim design this rim design as well on the score really cool i'll show you the boat on the all new t-cross was all our stuff in it so you can see it can handle quite a bit of luggage This is a DSG model, 7 speed. So yeah guys, this is basically my time and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of video. And this is the type of style I'm gonna be putting up every Monday here on Liberable. Um, a little bit more vloggy, a little bit more fun, a little bit more laid back. But most of all, a bit of a laugh as well because I hope there were some funny moments in here that cracked you up a bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching the video. Jason, thank you again for the help with some of the loading yes, shots. Yes. I really appreciate it. Anyway guys, have a look at it further. Be free with you. Love, Rebel. Out.